Okay, so the kids have school, you've got work, then it's off to the ball field later on. You're trying to get them settled down just long enough to get some homework done. Oh, wait, don't forget dinner. You just described my life, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you sometimes feel like you just can't get it all done, today we're going to help, at least when it comes to dinner. The key? Keep it simple. Joe and Megan Churchman own Bramble and Brine in Rehoboth Beach. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you for having us. So what are we making today? Uh, we're going to make some pea and prosciutto pasta. Okay, what do um, we need as far as ingredients? Uh, we're going to start with some lemon oil, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of shiknada prosciutto, and some fresh spring peas, and a little bit of fiddlehead ferns. Okay, oh. fiddlehead greens. I've never even heard of those. Mm. But we're going to find out how to use them, so what do we need to do? Uh, first, we're going to get our pan on. Okay. On high here, we're gonna start with a little bit of this lemon oil. Okay. There we go. And while that's okay. heating up, I'm gonna have you shuck up some of these peas for oh, us. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can just kind of. Can you tell me that was always one of your favorite pastimes? Was sitting on the front porch, <laughs> shucking peas. <laughs> so you can just kind of tear the top off. Oh, okay. And just put, and just the put them in there. Right there. How about that? Yep. All, All right, right, Joe, what am I doing? Excuse me. I'm gonna have you take this prosciutto. Okay. Just roll it up a little bit like this. I, I love that you show me how to do it because. A lot of people know better than just turning me loose with that. <laughs> and then just medium sized pieces. Do I have to do it that good? Um, you can do it however you like. Oh, okay. Now, Megan, you, uh, you, the, the restaurant's been open since October. Tell us about the name, Bramble and Brine. Well, Joe and I are both native to Rehoboth Beach. Uh -huh. uh, so when we knew that we were going to open a restaurant, we immediately went to the Rehoboth Beach Museum, uh -huh. which is amazing. Uh -huh. um, they have pretty much every historic artifact, I think, that exists on Rehoboth. Uh, we found a postcard that said, visit Rehoboth where the pine meets the brine. So, oh, and that's so, where you came up with yeah. the name. Okay. So we just What's made good? it more right. food oriented. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my fingers are intact. Oh, Yay! Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a good day for me. <laughs> okay. Right, what are we doing here? All right, and so now we've got some of that started. We're going to get this in the pan. We're going to just render this down a little bit, get it a little crispy. Okay. Let it infuse with our oil. Nice. Now, you guys are participating in the Rehoboth Restaurant Week. Yes. Tell us uh, about that. Well, Restaurant Week is really neat. Mm -hmm. This is their ninth um, year. Mm -hmm. We're uh, one of over 30 restaurants participating. Uh, each restaurant has uh, three course pre fees of either $25, $35, or $45. Oh, okay. So it's a really nice introduction to the culinary scene that Rehoboth offers. Oh, and they do have a culinary scene. There's mm. the information right there. It is June 1st through June 6th. Do you are you ready for my piece? I am yet? Ready for okay. The piece. Thank All you. right. You read my mind. I was just I keep shocking and <laughs> so as the prosciutto starts to get a little bit of crispy, uh -huh. we're gonna add the peas in. And when the peas are fresh like this, just shucked, I don't normally blanch them or anything. Like okay. That. I, I kind of like the bite they have right after. Yeah. Nice. Um, we're gonna take some of these fiddlehead ferns, which are just a spring vegetable. Um, they taste very similar to a green bean. Oh um, my goodness. So they're obviously from the green bean family, maybe. I don't actually Don't really know. know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I have to admit, I've never seen those before. Yeah. All right. And then we'll hit it with a little bit of salt. And then at this point, we've got some pasta going on in here, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. We've got some fresh pasta, so obviously this isn't going to take very long to cook. Okay. Um, if you're using box pasta, then you just have to follow the directions. Okay. On the amount of time. And you're putting it in a strainer. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Instead of like, it's almost like your homemade uh, pasta pan. <laughs> yeah. Um, See, here I am trying to pour it out over the sink all the time. That, that makes perfect sense. Well, you know, a lot of times with, when you're cooking pasta, you don't actually want to pour all the pasta water out because mm -hmm. that's what's going to help create your sauce oh, okay. uh, when you're putting it in the pan and help everything kind of stick together for the uh -huh. most part. Okay. So we'll, we'll let you come back one day if you will teach me how to do the. the <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that? What do you call the, the it? Flipping of the, pan. the flipping of the pan. Flipping you of the just, pan. I know it's a technical term like that. You actually flip the food. You don't flip the pan. Oh, see, I can flip <laughs> yeah. That could get a little dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I can flip the pan and catch the food, too. All right, and I'll let you know there are several ways you can get the shopping list and instructions on how to make this recipe. You can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard. Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab or call us at 443-880-9116. Make sure you note that you would like the recipe for spring pea tagliolini. There you go. Yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to the plate here. All right, so our pasta is pretty much cooked. Okay. We're good. That we're was just, quick. Yep. Well, when it's, when it's fresh like that, it mm -hmm. does not take more than 
30 seconds to enlighten. Ah, okay. okay. You're so. throwing it in the pan there. Mm -hmm. Get it in the pan. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, that's what awesome I Awesome piece. I taught him that. <laughs> and then we're going to take a little bit of our pasta water. Okay. Oh. And put that in the pan with the pasta. Well, that's why it's so important. So how okay. much longer do you let that cook? Um, not much at all. You just mm -hmm. kind of want to give her a minute or two. Oil. We'll take a little bit of grated cheese in there. And this is basically, we're just creating our sauce at this point. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Hey, Lisa, just, kind of just wanted to let you know I uh, I already made some for you. Oh, look at that, Timmy! Yeah. <laughs> just thought I'd... Now, know, what did I say about showing up the chefs? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, actually, I might have got a little help with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're okay. going to take our whipped ricotta, and we're just going to put that right here on the plate. A little bit of ricotta. And mm -hmm. back to the presentation, which is oh so important. Yes. And you just smooth that out a little bit. Did you do that, Jimmy, when you made your I, finished I, product? I, well, there? I certainly thought about it. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was going to, yeah. That's yeah. Well, right. while you can finish plating that one, because it's going to be so hot yes. when it's done, we're going to go ahead and try the finished one oh, over here. Excuse yeah. me, give, give I don't mean there. to be rude and step behind you and eat in front of you, but <laughs> guess what? <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Thank you for coming on the show, because that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and? Oh, that is delicious. See, I, love, I love pasta as it is, so adding That's this. That's homemade pasta. Oh my goodness. It is good, isn't it? It's is delicious. Megan, Joe, thank you so much. Very wonderful. good. So we have our dinner. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the show. Up next on Delmarva Life, the WW2s take the stage in Historic Studio D to serenade us with the sounds from decades ago. You do not want to miss this. Mm -mm, a little later on, we can all use another friend. How about one that's sure to love you unconditionally and is always happy to see you? We're going to introduce you to a few fuzzy faces that fit <laughs> that bill. But first, we all love ice cream. Don't you hate it when you open the lid and you get those little ice crystals in there? Rachel Ray has a handy how-to tip for you. This happens every birthday party in my family. We always overbuy the ice cream. So here's a huge container of ice cream, a couple of scoops gone, you put the lid back on, you look at it a couple weeks later, and what happened? It's all freezer burned, it has ice crystals, it looks like, I don't know, uh, Superman was born on that planet. Here's a great way to prevent that. Pop a little piece of plastic over the top, get it into every nook and cranny, every groove of the ice cream. Pop the excess inside, then seal it with the lid, and you won't lose the ice cream. 